Hi guys, so today I thought I'd just give you a few tips that I think might be useful for you. Um, I'm just going to dive straight in. I'm not going <clears> to <throat> try and ramble too much. Um, so, in terms of defences early on and to mid-game, these uh, ballistas, they are just great because they can do full 360 and they can also go up and down compared to like the flintlock pistols, which can only face, they don't rotate or anything like that. Um, and they just take arrows, which are really cheap to make as well. Um, and anyone coming towards your base just gets peppered with them. They immediately just run away scared. It, it shoots animals and stuff as well. So they are really useful early on, uh, definitely. Later on, you will unlock the gun up the top up there, um, which is a similar thing, but just uses bullets. So it packs a bit more of a punch. Um, second, um, sh as soon as you can, put down dew collectors they uh generate water so fast so you'll just never have to worry about water again uh, pretty cheap to make also and along with that uh you also would want to put down some of these simple fish baskets which are really really cheap to make you just got to find a body of water i have put some and i will walk over there and i'll show you now uh what <clears throat> how many you get you just get tons of them as well it generates it so fast um as we're going across there another tip is to make a sickle as soon as you can i do have a um, iron one here but you can just make a cheap one and as you're running around um just constantly hit trees and you'll get so much of this fiber and what you can do is just craft rope constantly and specifically especially on early levels um, see there, it's just generating 72 XP constantly. Um, at earlier levels, that's just a great way to level up fast um, because it's just passively just giving you a ton of XP. Now, here are the fish traps. You're going to have is it eight there, I think, yeah. So if you open these, I've got 90 in there, a ton of fish. I don't actually use the shrimp at the minute because that's a later recipe where you unlock the fish pie, I think it is. Uh, I haven't put down my stove yet. But I'll just grab all of these while I'm here because this will feeds into another tip that I will show you about later on uh, how to just generate um, XP while you're AFK as well um, along with the rope thing and uh, collect resources at the same time so sickles they just give you basically more of whatever it is you're harvesting um, these they give you plant mucus, these give you mucus as well, these ferns. Um, as we're going along, oh, I've come up the cliff too far. Uh, I'm just going to head towards where I've made a lookout tower, which are, it's a good way to farm um, elite elite mobs, where you can, so you can get a ton more shards and uh, talent books, which are used to unlock new building things and also new skills and stuff. Also, <clears throat> iron, which are these red ones, is the most sought after uh, metal. It's used to make steel and a, a bunch of components. And then the copper is less and then lead is uh, even less required. Uh, later on, you do get tungsten and titanium, but I haven't uh, progressed far enough to unlock them yet. Uh, but in, So when you're running around, just constantly mine iron when you see it um we'll get some here as we're going along and when you get the ability to unlock this jackhammer and also the chainsaw it speeds up this process of just mining stuff so quickly and it is a real good xp generator when you're actually playing the game and running around it see down the bottom there i'm getting almost 20 points of xp just for one of these and it's so far the fastest way i've found to level up now over here once I get over here, I'll show you what the um, the idea of this is. So there's a big base here, um, enemy base. And what you can do is, I've just built a tower here. You can build uh, multiple territory flags. So you can claim an area, dump in your stuff, um, and then it will just um, constantly repair itself. And what I've done is I've built a little tower, and I've put some of those ballistas that I mentioned at the top up here. And if I just lure over some of these guys, I'll just try and pull them, face pull them. Uh, come on, notice me. 
Oh, shit. Right. Okay. Took a few hits there, but we'll pull back. Try and um, attract their attention. If I come behind the base, they should start walking towards me. Um, while they're doing that, I'll just talk quick about... You might have saw when we are at these UFOs. So that these UFOs, are they just drop... Um, they're like supply drops, but they come in different colours. Going through green, blue, purple, orange and red. And the green ones are around level 15 and below uh, to... I think they're firing uh, back. Uh, level 15 and below to actually unlock them and then the blue ones are around level you have to be level 25 and be between level 15 and 25 and so on it goes up in like levels of 10 i can hear my t um, ballistas firing now so this is a, a safe way of farming mobs and you can pull the elite grenadiers which do pack a hell of a punch um over to here as well and they will follow they follow you across the entire map pretty much they followed me all the way back to my home base um, so you can just pull them, you can just run around that base, pull a load of crap. You can just use a little crossbow or something if you want to um, pull them. You don't have to use any rifles or anything like that. Just get out a little cheapy crossbow and that'll do. And then your turrets will just start firing at the enemies and kill them. So that's the basic idea of that. So I'm going to head back to my base now. Um, and show you what I do to gain XP while I am AFKs. And I've been AFK, I've gone to like the shops in real life uh, for about an hour, an hour and a half, and I haven't been disconnected um, at all. It doesn't seem to be like a kind of like a, um, a server timeout at the moment, at least, anyway, at the making of this video. Oh, nearly fell off the cliff there. Um, so yeah, as I say, as you're going around, I do believe these green ones have a chance of giving you mucus, uh, which is used to make rubber. Getting a bit of a bug out there, a bit of a lag there. And these dead ones just seem to give you fiber. fiber. You do get wild berries from these, which is a good early food source, and you can just spam eat them. Uh, I'll just show you quick. You can just spam eat them, and then it'll... If you can see on the left there, it's adding to the timer of regenerating um, food and water. So you can just spam them a lot. and So you'll be getting them as you're hitting these trees. There we go, we've got some more. Um, I'll just eat some fish here. When you get unlock things like fish and that, they do give you extra bonuses here, grilled fish, which is great. It gives you um, uh, stamina, um, max stamina by 20. And you can stack that up to 30 minutes. So if I just keep eating this, you can see down the bottom left there, that little image is increasing. And one more. And you will have just a ton of these fish. If you put some of those uh, fish traps down, then you'll just have loads and loads of them. Um, so what you do is um, to... I'll, I'll just grab some wood quick because I'll need a bit of wood for this. Um, to generate the XP while you are AFK, you'll want your base a little bit defended with a um, with some turrets and stuff. Like here, for example, I built it on the edge of a cliff, so they literally have to come around the side to get to me. Um, and what you would do is, ideally, I would have these furnaces closer to where. To the back here um, because it will that's how I'll show you I'm, I'm rambling a bit um, but I'll show you to explain it a bit better uh, I'm just gonna you put in the wood there and I'm gonna dump this fish in here and activate it and I'm gonna start grilling this fish and again like you can see down in the bottom left there where it's generating stuff for the um, rope that I'm creating also generating XP for the fish and also because I'm close enough to the um, furnaces it's also getting XP from the furnaces so I would ideally have the furnaces in here because what you can do is you can also come out here and I do have these set up which you get later on which I'd as soon as you can do get them going because you can get a shit ton of oil um, from here you just put a generator to it 
same with this and you can build a mine shaft and it just gets you all the ores and that this is the tungsten and titanium that i was on about which i'm not using yet but i'm already generating it for when i do unlock it which is good and what you can do is you can just come onto your mine head you can either collect ore or oil and so i'm collecting ore and oil i'm also uh making loads of rope ideally i'd, I'd be making ton a load more than that i would have collected a load of bushes but you, you get so so much fiber from the bushes it don't, does not take long to get a shit ton to be able to make rope and i'm also generating stuff from the fireplace as well and say for example if i had the furnaces just right near here i think the distance is around 15 meters but if you had the furnaces there you had the other work tables um building stuff out of mats so, like, what you want to do is think ahead, collect all of your mats and stuff, and then start processing them and building them into components and stuff as you're AFK, because then you can just leave you guys sitting here doing this. He's generating XP, and you're also generating oil and stuff inside here, or minerals and that, not that kind of thing. Um, so that is how you can just basically AFK generate uh, XP, uh, which is great course um the fuel that you'll need for them you just need to put it in here and you can craft um gasoline it's very you get you generate way more from the amount that you actually use in here in the in the oil rig so it's worth doing um i've just got bullet points here sorry i haven't scripted this at all i'm just going to see if i've missed anything ah in terms of the space time beacon so this thing here is how you activate the horde mode and what it does is it attracts um npc enemies towards your, towards where you've placed the beacon and you also get a reward in terms of materials and stuff like that um but what i found out was when when you initially start a base you you i built a territory flag and what the space time beacon does is basically acts as a territory flag but it takes up a hell of a lot more area it doesn't look this is where my space-time beacon is here, and this is my base. It looks like it's taken up the same radius, but it doesn't. It takes up a massive area. So what, what I tried to do is you're supposed to delete your flag and just place it near your base, but where I'm actually close to um, enemy bases, enemy player bases, it wouldn't let me place it, so I had to come all the way over here and place it in an area where people haven't built. So what I'd suggest you do is build this as early as possible to claim your area uh, so you don't have to travel across the map unless that's what you want to do because what I've done over here is I've just set it up. I've got the beacon and I've just put four turrets around it. I just activate it every 10 minutes. It takes 10 minutes cooldown to activate it again. And you activate it and then the turrets just kill the enemies. So you could do it like that, uh, I guess. Um, what else? Uh, also, you might have a problem if you were like me i just didn't know how to build stone doorways and stuff like that so what i'll do is i'll just quickly show you um you just get a wall and you hold right click and then you can select window frames here stuff like that um railings um doorways windows and you can also do this with for example stairs right click again and you can create um things like this like that spiral one that i created there or you can create ones like that. Um, you can create a ladder if you'd like. If you'd like to build a giant tower or something uh, to defend an area, like you could, like that tower we just went over to, you could just build a ladder that goes up to a, a constant, um, uh, uh, just a, like a pole, a nerd pole kind of thing, and just uh, live up the top there, just sniping, drawing enemies in towards your turrets, and just once they're in range, just killing them. Um, anything else i've missed the spear is just great always carry a spear around with you i don't know if i've got one on me now um i do not just for the purpose of the video but spear is um a great it's it's once you, if you get them in the head you can like the lower level mobs you can kill them within three hits and they don't even if you time it properly you can kill them without them even hitting you so it's good to always have a spear when you're going around um make sure you have that on you um in terms of cars the buggy 
um i th i thought oh building cars is going to be really annoying you're going to require a lot of components because when i first looked at it i just looked at this and i went oh right we need an engine and then we need all these batteries and stuff like that but then when i i, I completely missed that buggy on the left there to make this it's basically nothing rubber is just made from the mucus from the plants iron is just those red things that you mine and the machine parts are just made from copper and iron and that's how you create one of those buggies they are no pun intended a bit buggy at the minute because when i was initially filming this video i drove over to where we collected those fish and i got jumped out and it just i fell through the earth uh, so i lost all my gear so i had to restart the video which is annoying so they they are a bit buggy buggy at the moment um so do bear that in mind when using them um and i think that is about it so yeah um afk farming you can see it's still counting me up there um if i was closer to the furnaces i would also be generating stuff from what they're crafting here uh, so you see that um also adding more to the xp there uh so ideally you would have that over in the base this here if you're just interested there's batteries which are connected to um solar power which is only works in the daytime um and then you can fill up the batteries and link them to for example a fridge which will uh keep your stuff cooler for longer and it actually seems to freeze some of it eventually see these have time of you it actually seems to freeze it i don't know if it's a bug or not but you can just have a shit ton of food stored there um these are just full up already i'm going to take these out because i am going to be using these for a craft to make some stuff later on and I think that is about it for this tip and tricks. Uh, I will make another one as I progress further. At the moment, I am level 39. Uh, and you can go all the way up to, by the looks of it, level 60 for, in terms of the tech and stuff. I don't know if you can progress, progress further than that. Um, and yeah, cheers for watching if you made it this far. If you can subscribe, that would be great. It helps me out a lot. Um, I'm trying to get my first milestone of 500 subscribers and then second one of a thousand i'm only on at about 360 at the moment of time of making this video so if you could that would just be great help to me um and i've also got a playlist starting where i started from level one and i go all the way through to to where i am now and i'm still doing it i release about two videos a day and it's just talking about things that i find along the way um uh, what i'm doing and stuff as i'm building that uh so i'll put the link for that in the description i'll also put a link for how the space time beacon the basically the horde mode thing that we discussed how that actually works because i did do a longer video and i showed it active and stuff like that so i'll put a link to that in the description as well and yeah cheers for watching and i'll see you on the next one